wrap the paint. It's cheap, it's easy, and you can do it. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on getting your van respayed. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil. This is the Urban Explorer. I am the Urban Explorer and we do all sorts on this channel. We go places, we talk about vans, we talk about building vans, making mobile homes, turning vans into homes, all sorts of things regarding T4s, van life and things like that. So if you find any of this information remotely interesting, subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about what I painted this van in, which is called Raptor Paint. Now, Raptor Paint It's really solid. Basically, it's scratch proof. So, you can do that. Bit of water, scratch marks just come out. It just means that your van just stays a little bit safer. One, you don't need to polish it. Two, it keeps dirt off really well. Three, it doesn't allow rust to come through. Four, it's hard wearing. Five, it keeps heat in. Six, the list goes on forever. But six would be, it's a lot cheaper than paying £6,000 for a spray job because that's what I was looking at when I decided I wanted to get the van sprayed from blue to what it is now. So, we're going to go inside the van and we're going to talk about what Raptor Paint is all about. Let's go. So let's talk about what Raptor Paint is. This is Raptor Paint. You can buy it in black, you can buy it in white, and you can also buy it in tintable as well. Now, what we done was we bought it in tintable. And what tintable is, it just means that you can add any color to the actual mixture and it will spray out of that color. And I'm talking like this much paint, like a thimble, a, a, a shot glass full of paint, into the actual paint, in the tub it comes like this. So, there's your Raptor paint, there's your hardener. You basically mix what colour you want into this, and I'm talking like that much colour. Like we did, actually, I was going to respray it and add some sparkle to it, but decided against it. So once you've filled it with your paint, you then add the hardener. You give this a good shake, probably for about a minute, just to let everything mix up. Then, you take this. This you can buy with the kit. That goes straight in. You attach it to your compressor, and then it's just a case of pull the trigger and go. Now, Raptor paint comes in all different sizes. We probably used about nine of these to spray the whole van. The prices vary. You can get three kits, four kits, you can get five bottles in a kit. It just depends on where you buy from. But we used the tintable stuff. The tintable stuff was really good. It was dead easy. And we basically turned the van from this, I'm gonna put some pictures right there. This is what the van looked like. Now, before we found out what Raptor paint was, myself and my daughter decided we're gonna paint the van and we're going to do it, it was going to be midnight purple. Um, we did actually attempt to spray the van. We've never sprayed a van before. We've never sprayed anything before, apart from the obvious stupid things that the average person sprays. Spraying a van, I was told, it couldn't be done. It couldn't be done. You can't do it. You're not qualified. You don't know what to do. You haven't got the tools. We had a compressor. That's all we had. So I went out and bought all sorts of spray gear, I brought all sorts of paint, undercoat. The problem we came across was this. Yeah. 
That effect that is on the van right now was basically because somebody had sprayed it previously and used two different types of paints. So when we come to putting the undercoat on, it got this crackling effect. One side of the van worked perfect. One side of the van, as you can see, it didn't look good. So then we were forced to rethink what we were going to do because we were in that position where it was a case of we didn't know what we were going to do. Where do we go through? Where do we go to from here? And the only way forwards was to search the internet. Now, what we had to do to get rid of all this was we had to take what we'd sprayed back down to bare metal. And I mean, literally, hands scrubbing, just getting the paint off, grinding it down to bare metal and starting from fresh. Now, in that time, I just happened to be watching an episode of, it was West Coast Customs, and they painted a car in a stuff called Linex. Where can you buy this Linex? Is, is it, can we get Linex in the UK? Is it possible? Didn't seem to find Linex, but then come across Raptor. Raptor was the same stuff as Linex. It was the same sort of price as Linex, and it seemed to do the same thing. So then, starts looking on the internet, starts finding videos, blah, blah, blah. One thing comes to another, then we decided, right, we're going to do the whole van in Raptor. We searched, we done loads of research, and it was basically just a case of get the rust off, take out all the crappy bits. There was quite a lot of rust on it. The archways were rusted. There was bits and bobs here. There was some dents. But one of the beauties about Raptor paint is that because it goes on quite thick, now, it covers a lot of sins. It covers scratches. It covers small dents. It covers chips in paint. You don't see these things. We didn't know this when we started. We didn't know how good the effort was going to be. We didn't know what it was going to turn out when we actually finished it. But when we did finish it, we were surprised. Everybody told us we couldn't do it. Everybody told us you needed a spray booth. You needed to do it indoors you needed all sorts of air filtration systems this that whatever you needed all sorts of safety gear etc 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 now getting on to safety this stuff is hardener right we were unsure what was in the hardener we all use spray paints and we don't think of what we're breathing in so you look on the back it says fire hazard do not breathe in, blah, 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 blah. So we were unsure. I know two-pack paint is quite dangerous. It contains cyanide and things like that. But I was still unsure over the hardener that we put in the Raptor paint. So we got in touch with a company in the UK. So we rang this guy up. I told him exactly what we were spraying. He told me to tell me, he basically said, can you give me the name of the product? So give him the name of the product, I told him about it. Now, this is a guy who he works closely with fire departments and safety regulators and things like that. He warned me under no uncertain circumstances should I be spraying this without a mask. That basically, the stuff that's in this can give you asthma instantly because the bonding agents and the stuff that's in the hardener can actually, once you breathe it in, will literally bond to your lungs. So, it's kind of dangerous if you don't treat it with respect. It's kind of dangerous if you don't use the correct gear. So, I was working on a plan of between three and six thousand pounds for the respray. I probably spent about five hundred pounds on spray equipment. It didn't work. We just went nasty. The Raptor paint cost me all in total four hundred pounds. 400 pounds that was for eight or nine bottles of raptor with the hardener plus the gun come with one of the kits we bought a small tin of gunmetal gray um two-pack paint which was just it was on it was on ebay i think it cost about eight pounds that was enough to mix between all the bottles and basically get the color that we got now the black stripe that's down the van that is the original Raptor black because I bought one black and I bought eight of the Raptor tintable. So we've got four hundred pounds. Take into consideration a six thousand pound spray job. Four hundred pounds. Then speaking to the guy on the internet, 
after recommendations from the experts who know what they are doing. They recommended me to buy this. Now, for my own peace of mind, this mask was, I think it was 120 pounds. Now, it's good for two pack paints. It's good for cyanides. It's good for all things that you don't really want to be breathing in. The model of this mask is, I will tell you now, it's the Pro Mask 2. The Pro Mask 2 by Scott. And all the cartridges, you can take the cartridges off and you can put a new cartridge on. The cartridges are easy replaceable. They're not that dear to buy. The only recommend that you use them for a certain amount of time. The greatest the mask to wear when you are wearing glasses, but you can get around that with an old pair of glasses and just a little bit of cotton. It seals all the way around your head. And it's really good. But the main thing is, it keeps you healthy. It stops all the nastiness that is within these pots and within these paints from getting into your lungs. The air as outside is as bad enough as it is. You don't need to be adding to the trouble with this type of stuff. So, £400. £100 for the mask. A few other little bits and bobs, probably amounting to another £100. And that was for papers and tapes. The van looked like this when it was all taped up. We went through it properly. We taped it up properly. We took off the things that you need to take off to, to basically get the van prep ready we sprayed it or i sprayed it in the front garden yes i sprayed it in the driveway of my home which is right there we ran out of paint we needed one more tub of paint sorry a three pack of paint so i went down to a local paint supplier the next day we covered the van up there's a picture there the van's all covered up the next day we went down i was still unsure will it still spray the same Will it still spray the same? Will it just look weird? Sprayed the van. And to be perfectly honest, I've had professional painters come up to me who I know as friends and swear blind to that I never sprayed it until they've seen the pictures, until they've seen the videos of me spraying the van in the garden, wearing the mask. They didn't believe it. The Raptor paint does come out pretty quick in this. And it does. It will cover... Basically anything, wood, plastic, metal, steel, iron, concrete, it will stick to anything. There was only one thing that the guys at Raptor advised me, and that was they do a bonding agent to go around your bumpers, just in case it's had other sorts of paints on. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative to spray your van in, Raptor paint is definitely something that will go onto your van. It's something that, it looks good. This is the tintable. This is their own black. You'll probably notice that there's a bit of a shine and there's a more smoother texture to the black than there is the tintable. The tintable comes out a little bit rougher than the actual black does, but does that really matter? If you're going for this type of look and you want it to look a little bit urban, a little bit mean, then this stuff is the bomb. It says on the back, it basically binds to anything. Concrete, wood, metal, plastics, it goes on anything. Raptor paint. It's cheap, it's easy, and you can do it. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on getting your van respayed. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on getting it fixed and repaired. You can do it yourself. Don't forget, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you've got any questions, please ask me in the chat below. We're going to go straight over to the chat after the video is dropped and we'll carry the conversation on over there. So, if you've got any questions for me, just come and ask me. I am here to help you. And don't forget, get yourself a van, get it going, start the project, and whatever you do, do it well. See you later.